Thank you, first of all, for inviting us to share with you our experience. Indeed, a privilege being here in front of this audience. We were told to tell you about this experience. And what, how do we envision this challenge of digital transformation? We believe that transformation is not just for education and for schools, but it should have an impact on the daily lives and the daily workings of the school. And therefore, our proposal is to transform our school with the apps that students have in their hands. The goal is to have students taking their change into their hands. And how do they do that? By providing them with the right tools, by empowering them. Um, first of all, we need to incorporate that STEAM teaching is key into this process. We are lucky in that the Catalan Ministry and other players are leading now and know that they need we need to do some STEAM activities. Also with some competence focus and with project-based work. It's important to see what's the significance and the meaningfulness of learning. If we are able for students to work within a project that has some practical usefulness and that they will see that it will be used by many people ahead, this has a clear impact on the efficiency of learning. And then the participation in the M schools programs, the toolbox, the just story maps, the app inventor, for instance, these are tools that are a must when it comes to doing these activities. Now, who is to participate? All students, um, again, just like JFK put it, it's not what you can do for your, uh, what the school can do for you, but what you can do for your school. The way of transforming society through digital tools, something that's open up to anyone. We started by working with the secondary education because we have this vision that m should stem at first from the primary education and we will soon begin working with the first cycle of secondary education. How? Because this is a cross-cutting issue to all subjects and we provide enough room so that at all different levels, at tech level, in the arts as well, and I agree in that caring for diversity is something that needs to be incorporated. And on space and time, the workshops, project-based learning, the learning as a service and so on. These are all opportunities to provide a focus for that, for us all, because we create tools that are good for us, because we learn, and we are all benefited in the community. Let me give you some examples. For instance, this app called the B7 Canteen, La Cantina del Beset, has, again, canteen, sandwich making. How many of them? You don't know. But then if you have an app where you can book your sandwich, you can really know how many sandwiches you need to make. So potential users, all students in school. Secondly, uh, the school track the school paths to Madalona, a joint venture together with some engineers in order to provide service learning related to STEAM. Indeed, uh, it's not uh, really complex as an app, but what we aim at is to have a students to be able to digitally read their society and to head on the transformation. Indeed, as of last September, the school paths, the Comenza Scolar was, was open last year and it was connected to big data. This is related to the Internet of Things and so on. Again, for both high school and middle school. The famous lost and found, uh, and I guess that any janitors, by the way, <laughs> in the audience, well, you know about how many staff we get uh, in the lost and found department and 
Some suggested that we could, why not having this being sold through Wallapop app? Well, this is what we did. So, there, of course, there's a solidarity piece behind uh, in, if you don't find the proper owner. And so we bring this to NGOs and charity organizations. Like scanners, a sort of gamification where the QR code is a scan, a personal QR code for students. And this is down, this is a tailored app for teachers so that students realize that us teachers are also engaged and participating. Everyone's welcome. Research projects such as a system to checklist to review attendance through um, key, through a mobile system. And then the Ardu Lock project that was introduced last Friday together with the Catalan Ministry of Education and another success story such as creative technologies in the classroom where the lockers are automated either through wireless, wireless Bluetooth or NFC in order to be op opened and managed. And this is done through students that they incorporate these proceedings and they use this for the day-to-day -day of our schools. Again, I've run out of time. I'd like to ask for more time here. I join the call of my colleagues.